What is up guys? I'm back with my My League series part four. We're going into the fourth season right now. Uh yeah, starting off player retirements. We have a big retiree. LeBron James has decided to hang it up. Many call him the greatest of all time. Um, it's gonna be a sad day when LeBron retires in real life. He said he's accomplished everything he's won in his league. But uh, I'm not so sure if I want LeBron James to retire. So I decided to bring him back for one more year just so he can obliterate the all-time leading scorer record. Uh, here's the draft order if you guys are interested in that. You can see we have the 23rd, the 26th, and the 30th overall picks in this year's draft. And that's good because we're going to be looking to move some contracts, particularly the contract of Kevin Love uh, to free up cap to, as I said last video, we're going to make a big splash. We're going to try to get a big star player. Uh, hopefully in this upcoming free agency. So I'm doing some research here I'm looking at some big men some power forwards some centers that I could potentially add to the team First one I see is DeAndre Aiden who says that he's feeling uncertain about his situation currently his morale is pretty low um, On the Phoenix Suns. I, I don't know why and he said he's had enough of Phoenix He's looking to find a new team this offseason. So that's definitely a player that we can go after He had a pretty good season for the Suns uh, last year another guy I'm looking at is Marvin Bagley jr. Who's kind of in the same boat. He has said he's had enough of uh, Sacramento, I don't know why either uh, and it looks like he does not want to come back at all Or it looks like both these teams don't even want to discuss a contract. So that's another guy. We're gonna look to add this offseason Potentially hopefully I pray, you know, because we're gonna need some firepower if we really want to make a Splash or a deep run in the playoffs, but we're trading Kevin Love here to the Houston Rockets or I don't want to spoil it, but we're, we're going to try to trade him to the Houston Rockets. I think that's the best team looking at all the other potential trades. Nothing else really makes sense. Uh, Repairing him up with his former college teammate in Russell Westbrook. Uh, Looking at their roster, they have a lot of guys to bring back. And honestly, adding Kevin Love and just surrounding them with some veteran players is probably what they should do. They agree to that deal. It was Kevin Love, a future first round pick and a future second for two second round picks from the Houston Rockets. Um, Kevin Love, thank you for your services, but it was time to move on. Uh, here is the three players we drafted. I'm just not gonna bring in the last guy uh, Because he probably has no place on his team Honestly, none of, it, none of these guys have any place on this team, but it's whatever we're gonna accept the player options of every single player you see here Yeah, we have a lot of guys. We need to resign uh, looking at who declined their player options Kyrie did if you saw that quickly and we're gonna give Colin Sexton qualifying offer But we are gonna sign him to an extension and whatever but here we are DeAndre Ayn is the first guy I'm gonna to try to go after uh, hopefully if uh, Marvin Bagley is still there I, I will go after him too. I could have probably signed them both but whatever um, Yeah, we're in the front. We're in the lead right now and the Suns match though big problem Even though he said he did not want to come back. They still matched, but I can't blame him He's a big 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 player. They can at least try to trade him or something So backup plan we're going after Marvin Bagley jr. And he has no offers really that one offer from the boys is even a good offer So I'm gonna offer him a four-year deal uh, just about a uh, hundred and one million dollars uh, altogether and obviously he's gonna accept that um, and the Kings do not match which is a great sign for us Colin Sexton receives an offer from the Thunders and we're going to match that obviously we're gonna bring him back so all in all a very good free agency uh, we brought in a all-star level player in Marvin Bagley Jr. who can hopefully do good things for us here's our nine-man rotation for this upcoming season and uh, I simulated about 11 games. You can see this how it's going. It's going amazing so far. Uh, Marvin Bagley's putting up about 20 and 10, shooting 48% from the field, only 32% from three. I'd like to see that hit like 35%, but it's fine really. 19 and about 10 assists from LaMelo Ball. He's having a fantastic season. He's shooting efficiently from the field too. 53% uh, from the field, 40% from three, and just about 80% from the free throw line. Uh, Colin Sexton doing his thing, but Darius Garland off the bench, almost 17 points, almost five assists, almost 50, 40, 90 club also. He's playing amazing as well. And you see the rest of the roster, Dylan Windler shooting 46% from three. You see Kevin Porter Jr. putting up a nice 14 points per game and the rest of the roster there. So I simulate more games. Look at us. We're, we're just really cruising through the league right now. We're 23 and 10. We're now 24 and 10. Uh, everything's firing all, all cylinders. We have a high teammate chemistry grade. Look at that, 89%. We're doing great things and hopefully this is the season, but we do fall off just a bit We're still the second seed in the Eastern Conference though. So that's good to see but uh, as you can see our record now is 29 and 19 so looking at player stats for the first what is this 48 or so games? Uh, Colin Saxon leading the way in scoring he's putting up 20 points shooting efficiently as he has been over the last couple of seasons uh, Marvin Bagley you see what he's doing also 20 and 10 17 and 9 from 
a LaMelo Ball. You see Darius Garland still doing his thing off the bench and Dylan Miller right there. That's our top five and leading, our top five leading scorers, excuse me. But uh, yeah, uh, here we are. Uh, big game against the Celtics. You guys just saw they were the number one seed, we're the number two. Uh, Marvin Bagley, man, 35 and 14. LaMelo Ball pitched in, I believe that was said 27 points uh, and 15 assists, I believe. Uh, All-star game, we have nobody. Second seed in Eastern Conference, we don't have anybody. We have Marvin Bagley putting up 20 and 10. We have Colin Sexton putting up 20 points on efficient shooting. Uh, we have LaMelo Ball even putting up 17 and 9. And that's kind of frustrating to see, but it's whatever. Um, I'm looking to make a trade here at the trade deadline. Kevin Porter Jr. just has to go, man. I, I love Kevin Porter Jr. to death in real life, but he just has not made the improvements that I wanted him to make in this game, at least. Obviously, a trade like that will not happen so soon in real life, but this is a video game. So, yeah, and I'm looking at Evan Fournier. I think that's probably the best bet for us. A versatile guy who can shoot and space the floor. So, that's a trade. Kevin Porter Jr., Larry Nance Jr., and uh, a lottery protected first round pick for Evan Fournier and Jeremy Grant. So, I think that was a good uh, trade for us. We improved. But we're at the end of the season. We go 51 to 31, which is really upsetting. I really wanted us to maybe hit mid to high 50s. And uh, especially considering we added a essentially an all-star talent in Marvin Bagley Jr. and kept everybody else. But Liquid Doncic is your MVP. Imani Bates with 24 points, 5 rebounds in his rookie season, wins rookie of the year. That's insane. One of the best rookie campaigns we've seen ever. Uh, Dennis Schroeder pitched in 19 off the bench. He's the sixth man of the year. Giannis is your defensive player of the year. Onikwa Okongwu is your most improved player. And Rick Howlar is your coach of the year. Here's All-NBA first team for you guys interested in that. All-NBA second team. All-NBA third team. We get LaMelo Ball. He makes it. So that's great to see. We see our players finally gaining some recognition. All-defensive first and second team for all you guys interested in that. And all-rookie first and second team as well. We won't have anybody. We didn't play our rookies at all. Um, Here's the player stats. End of the fourth season. Uh, Colin Sexton led the way. Shooting uh, just averaging just about uh, 20 points on 50 40 90 pretty good efficiencies uh, Man, he, he's he's taking great 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 leaps. You see what Marvin Bagley able to do his efficiency did dip down a bit um, But it's whatever uh, Colin Sexton actually shot 87% from the free throw line our all NBA teamer Lamella ball 17 and 9 Darius Garland off the bench finished in a nice almost 16 points and almost six assists I'm surprised he didn't get you know any six man of the year considerations but it's whatever he shot 50 49 as well so man what, what a season for him evan fournier let's see what he was able to do since the all-star break because that's basically when we acquired him just about 11 points uh you know he was okay i guess you know he's probably still adjusting to a new team a new scenario um so it, it's it's whatever uh dylan wendler pitching in 11 right there and here's the rest of the roster you see zach collins didn't play at all but we are the number one seed so we were able to get that going up against the eighth seeded um philadelphia 76 we take a 2-0 lead on them but they win a game in game three in game four we are able to win and then game five we beat them so getting rid of them in five games here we are against the boston celtics who were the one seed um they kind of fell off <laughs> which is interesting so hopefully we can use that to our advantage obviously something is going on with them internally but we do take a 2-0 lead similar to last series they win game three in game four so now it's a tie series but we clutch up in game five and in game six we're moving on to the eastern conference finals great to see that overlooking over the west side uh it's the mavericks versus the uh golden state warriors but we're going against Giannis, and you guys know Giannis in this game and in real life of course is a god is a beast so we're gonna have to take the precautionary measures or the measures at that just to neutralize them i guess if you can even do that we're gonna put our starting center uh, Dan Dante, excuse me, on him. He's our probably our best uh, interior defender, obviously. But we take a 2-0 lead on them, and they tie it just right back up, just like that. But we go up three, and we win in six games. Let's go. And we have a rematch of the 2018 Finals. Warriors versus Cavs. The rivalry is back on. We have an old Stephen Curry, 35 years old, doing his thing in the playoffs, though, man. 27 and a half points, 11.6 assists. And it's really just him. Nobody else is really lighting it up, at least. Except for James Wiseman, I guess you can say he is 23 and 11. But here we are, man. Hopefully, we can get some revenge on them. They don't have Kevin Rent this time, but we don't have LeBron, of course. 1-1, one, 2-1, one, 2-2, two, one, two, two, tied up series, 3-2. They take a 3-2 lead. Here we are, a big game six right here. We have to win to keep our championship hopes alive. And it looks, it's looking good so far. It's looking very good, but they come back. And that's all she wrote, man. That's all she wrote. Uh, they win. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy, I guess. It's kind of upsetting, but we'll be back.
we'll be back we have another year the last year the final year we're gonna make some changes and we're gonna come back and hopefully win a championship but please share with your friends if you guys enjoy it's so sports i'll see you guys next time